let's talk about production paper making. Production paper making is making many, many sheets in a day, creating a whole post. And I'll just show you, I've got two 12 by 18 sheets uh, on one felt and I've got five layers that I've already made. And the felt starts to bow because of all of the paper in there. So I like to put a new board after five layers of paper and that means six felts. So I put my new board down and I've got my felt soaking since I don't have a wet floor. I try to keep water contained. So I'll take this felt that's completely soaked and place it down on my board. Now I'm strategic about how I place it. I'll show you in a second why. So I've got it almost all the way to the edge here. And there's a little pulp on there I'm just gonna pick off. So once my sheet is drained, I remove the decal. And I like to handle the sheet this way. I make it this way, um, but that's a wider span. I feel like this is better for my back. And there's a lot of pulp that gathers on the sides of the mold. So I just quickly, scrape my fingers down the edges to get that off because that's going to end up on my felt and I'm going to have to brush it later. So I just clean that up only on the two sides. The top part doesn't hit my felt, so that's not an issue. Now I'm always thinking ahead to the next step. So I'm going to be cooching two sheets onto the felt. So I've pulled my mold all the way to the edge of the felt here. And as I stack my felts, I'm going to stack them one right on top of the other so that the two sheets that I'm cooching are pretty much in the same spot on each felt. The, they're going to press better that way if they're lined up nice and neat. And there's many ways you could do this. I could put a piece of tape here on the edge or some kind of clamp would even be better to, to butt this up against. And so when I cooch, this is my first layer. And then I'll put the next sheet right next to that. So here's my second sheet and I'm going to line it up right next to that first one. And I'm using the edge of my board here for this. And I did that over here too. So no, you can't see this, but it's right next to the, the edge of the decal is right next to the edge of the sheet. And then I'll lay this down. I'm using a really slippery pulp, so my sheets are getting a little misshapen when I'm cooching because it slides a little bit as I cooch. Okay, so now I'm ready to lay my next felt. And I know I'm off camera, but this is how I hold it so that I'm not going to drip onto anything. I'm gonna set this far corner down, slide this edge over, and I'm lining these up as perfectly as I can. I've done this a lot of times, so it does take some practice. And now I'll cooch right where I cooched before so that my sheets line up. And so I've got two stacks I'll make my post of 10 sheets, five layers, and they'll press evenly. My next sheet, and I've got a sheet beneath it, and I wanna line these up. So I put the edge right along the edge of my felt, which is right on top of the other one, and I line this up here. And that'll make that lie right on top of the sheet below. Within tolerance, this is all handmade. So another thing I do when I am making production paper is I like to strain some of the water out of my pulp. Now I'm using hemp. I'm switching over. I'm just using up a bunch of pulps. So there's already white pulp in there, but I've got white pulp in my vat, so I'm not worried about that. So this is called a chinois kitchen strainer. And I'll just let this strain 
as I make sheets and then I'll add mostly pulp and not as much water because I'm straining it as I make paper.